Christine here with another cute, not simple, and not quick card I made using my Cricut. My son is absolutely obsessed with Angry Birds. He has coloring books and t-shirts and drawing books and stuffed animals and of course he has all four of the t four games on his tablet and he just absolutely loves it. So he and I have quiet time together uh, using my Cricut and a lot of the times I make him little robots or little monsters or race cars because I have quite a few Cricut cartridges that are boy related. There's Beep Beep, B is for boy, Bump in the Night, um, robots, create a critter. So we play on the cricket and then afterwards he gets to keep the little images. So he asked me to see if I could make some Angry Birds. And I have to admit that I had to go on the internet and on YouTube to see what was out there to see if I could um, make a card and make his images um, rather quickly and simply. So this is what I came up with, and if you own a Cricut, then you have everything you need because all of these images, with the exception of the elastic and the crown, all come out of George and Basic Shapes, which I believe comes with the Cricut. It's been so long, I think I've had my Cricut for like four years now. But anyways, so this is this is it. This is what I came up with, and he loves to play with the little King Ping. And uh, he wants me to see if I can keep going with Matilda. She's the white egg-shaped one, and he really likes the bluebirds. So we'll see what I can do with that next. So I just wanted to show you this card, and I'll show you the inside. I thought it was really cute. I added a liner, and it just says, Hiya! which is what they do when they're flying in the air. So there's no sediments on this because I don't know what I'm going to use it for, um, but it's prepped and ready in case I do need a cart for somebody. So I just started out with black cardstock. I cut it down uh, from an 8 and a half, 11 size card, 5 and a half inches, and fold it in half. Whenever I say fold it in half, I actually mean I scored it and then took my bone folder to get a crisp edge so that my cards will fit in an envelope. So I got the base of my card and then I found this pretty pattern paper. I think in one of my last videos I said I used this flower box pack, paper pack from Doodlebug Designs and I absolutely love, it's only two papers, I wish I could find more of it, is this really really pretty cloud one. And so that's what I used. I cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter. Then I started with the slingshot. Um, the same wood grain pat, uh, paper comes from also from the flower box. And what I did is I just took strips of paper three quarter inch wide and then I don't know, maybe two inches in length, maybe two and a half. And then I just took my corner chomper and I put one this way, one in this way, and one this way. It covers, you know, the center of the card all the way up. And then I just took some brown paper and I just cut out strips that may be a half inch to cover it, which are a little darker, that made it look like the slingshot. This piece I had to do by hand, as well as the crown, but it's not a big deal. So I just kind of just did it in a wave motion, and I stuck it with adhesive just so that it looks like the slingshot is facing the person reading the card. So, from there, I'll show you the basic images. It's very, very simple, although it took a while to cut them out. So, basically, the red bird, his name is Red, so Red, was made with a circle at two and a half inches. I think if I was to do it again, I would bring him down to two inches. So, the circle I use comes from Q. I don't know... L-M-P-O-Q. So there's the circle I used. So the shift button was on. And as I said, two and a half inches. The eyes are the same. And for all three images, it's the smallest my Cricut goes. So they're all a quarter inch. So the yellow bird, which his name is Chuck, and the piggy, this is the king piggy, 
um, the white is cut at a half inch and this for red he has cut at an inch so I did all of the white together and while I was at it these are his teeth and all I did is use the petal from the flowers. So in this particular case I actually use the charm function and the shift function and then maybe around two inches and I just cut I cut uh, I cut the, the petals off and I adhered it to this raised green piece that I used with foam. I did the same thing for the green ears. It's also a flower and the black. And believe it or not, this little piece right here on red is also, I just use this flower with no shift button, nothing. I just use these to get them so that they would be elongated and just took two of them and then tucked it away behind the circle and glued it down. After that, um, to get his little dark piece here, it's also a circle, and all I did is cut it out, glued it down, I turned over the circle and cut all the way around the perimeter, and then I actually used some distress ink um, on all three of them. Not so noticeable, but it, it helped with the edges. And then, this piece and this piece are only just squares. I think they're on the R. They are. So red is a half. Uh, um, red is an inch to get the square. You cut in two, and then you just move it out a bit. And this one's a half inch. And I just did like a zigzag motion because in one of my son's drawing books, that's what it shows to do. So I just cut it and then put the two pieces. His white piece in between right here also was done with a circle. And I just cut it and the edge and, and I just cut it so that there's a little bit showing. And these pieces here are right here under O. There's this with the rounded corners. Uh, I think this was an inch on the black ones and a half inch for the brown ones. And on the piggy, I didn't, uh, he, they're typically rounded, but I left them straight, um, straight and all I did was just cut out some two little tiny pieces. So that covers all of red and I raised him up on pop dots. And then for Chuck, he is the triangle, and it was a beautiful triangle that I found. It's already got the rounded edge, just like all of the pictures show. This one's cut at around two inches, and then I'm like, how am I going to get his tuft of black hair? So I kept going through the cartridge, and I'm like, hmm, what can I come up with? And then I started seeing some cool shapes, and... I don't know if it's this way or this way, but it's the moon. And I'm like, oh, pretty cool. Let me see where he is. I don't know where it's gone. You can see all of, there, there's the moon. So what I did is I cut out again in an inch and then in a half inch, and I just tuck them behind the triangle and I reverse them so it's not this way but it's turned this way and I just stuck it in behind. So that finished it, finished, I can't really talk, <laughs> that completed the yellow bird. And so the piggy, the piggy is not circle, he's not perfectly symmetrically, he's not a nice perfect circle. So I was playing with my cartridge again and I came up with an eight in the shadow blackout and I'm like oh that would be perfect so I think I had to cut it at about four inches and what I did is all I did is round out this and I use see actually I still have the other piece see that's all I did is cut it out of the smaller piece and uh, I made it round a little bit to match the other side and um, I added his eyes and his nostrils. His nostrils, again, were in black. They're cut out at a half inch. And I raised his little snout. I used a little bit of green, uh, a lighter green for his snout. And all I did is under the M, and 
JKLM is this balloon and I'm like oh cool so what I did is I used the shadow and then I just cut off that piece and it was perfect now you could do the body the same way if you wanted to make it bigger that might be an easier shape than what I did with the eight um, but all I did is cut off a little piece it's maybe about two inches inch and a half I raised it on pop dots and this is pretty much it um, then I had to figure out the crown. Now there is a star, um, but I didn't like how it turned out. So all I did was take the yellow that I used in Chuck and just kind of, you know, made my own little thin crown by looking at, see, my son has a learned to draw angry birds. And I just kind of flipped through it. And when it shows you, you know, to make them, I came across, I don't know where he's gone. Piggy, I think he's at the front. And see how the crown kind of comes in a bit? And then I noticed that they, they have teeth and stuff. So I just made the crown and then just added some jewels. And that's pretty much it. And uh, I think it's well worth the effort to put it all together and make a cute card. And then I made some of these images for my son and he's playing with his room with them. They'll be ruined by morning because they are paper. But anyways, I just wanted to show you what I was up to. So thanks for watching.